the National Football League takes us to the banks of the Ohio River and Paycor Stadium in the Queen City of Cincinnati. Straight ahead, a rematch of Super Bowl 56, and it should be a good one, as it'll be the Los Angeles Rams taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. Right to the air. Here's Stafford. He'll get this into the hands of Van Jefferson. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Off of play action. Here's Stafford. And this one right back into the hands of Jefferson. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. First down, Los Angeles there with a pickup of 14 yards. So we just called his name on the previous snap, and they go right back to him, Charles, for a second consecutive completion. Yeah, I think what we're discovering on this drive is that he feels like he has answers no matter what defense you throw up there. He reads it, finds the open spot, and is available for the completion. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there, tried to force it in. That one, he's fortunate, just fell incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. They'll run it for the first time with Williams. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. I think we got to give it up for him right there. That's a heck of an athletic move for a big man right in the middle of the line. How about the play he makes there? Nowhere to run, and he finishes that one off for a loss. Throwing on third down, Stafford to the right side and complete to Jefferson. And boy, he had the marker square in his sights, but a good tackle's going to leave him about a yard or so short. They do get 12, but they'll be marked short. And that leads to a fourth down. And now a decision here on the opening drive. Fourth and very short this part of the field. What do you think they do, CD? I think you go for it. I think there's a lot of game left to be played. I like the advantage that they're trying to create here early. I say be aggressive and try and get it done. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have the Rams first down. As he'll wind up getting close to 10 yards there. They only needed one on fourth and one. Both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play. And the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front. But somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. Stafford's throw pulled in by Atwell here. He'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. So from the 26-yard line, here's second down and three. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. Blitz coming and down he goes. They came with a safety blitz, and Daxton Hill got home. How about that? One of the so-called little guys putting the pressure on. That was a strong safety. When I was in college, we often called that a lightning blitz. Now they got to get to the 23 here on third. Throwing a Stafford. And he will find Atwell. That's complete. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Uh, that's a big conversion there on third down, and this has been a great opening drive. You know at this point, they'd hate to settle for three, but they've created a fresh set of downs and a first and goal. Williams is not going to advance very far. He'll be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. 
Only a yard that time, second and goal. Here's where we need to see some tenacity from this defense because they've been pushed right down the field on this opening drive. They've got to find some way to push back, and that's a good first step. On second and goal, standing alone in the backfield is Williams. He's going to get it again. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, and now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? Now Stafford on third and goal. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage, after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. The kick by Marr is good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. After the main field goal, Marr back out there to kick it away. On the return is Charlie Jones. And he returns this to the 22. The Bengals set to take over. going to lead up the Bengals here first and 10 at their own 22. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And the catch made. It's Tyler Boyd. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be second down. Now it's Burrow. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. Those are the ones you dream of as defenders. I think if he gets eyes on the ball a little bit earlier, he might come away with it. Instead, it's going to wind up as just an incomplete pass. Burrow on third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And he is going to have a Bengals first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. When you give up points on the opening drive, in this case a field goal, you'd hate to go three and out. They avoid that. They do, and it's also walking that fine line mentally, too, as a coach, isn't it? Because you want to emphasize to your team exactly what you said. All right, we gave up a field goal. Let's go back and at least equal that, guys. But if we don't, you don't want me to feel like it's the end of the world either. Nice that they were able to pick up the first down there, help them relax a little bit. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Well, I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Offensive line really didn't give him any room to maneuver on that play. Things closed pretty quickly, didn't they? And how about the wrap-up at the end of that tackle? Left no doubt there would be no additional yardage to be found. Now it's Burrow. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. 
third and short. Blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. On second down, here's Burrow. That one taken in by T. Higgins. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 37. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. We've got to like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice sustained series to begin the game, and it will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. Burrow once again here on second and ten. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. The perennial pro bowler Aaron Donald gets the sack. Now that's a heck of a moment for your first sack of the game because if this long drive ends without a touchdown because of that sack, we're going to look back and say that might be one of the biggest plays of this contest. So that'll leave Burrow and the Bengals with a third and long after that sack we just saw. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, that play was certainly a little bit different because on the previous play, he was sacked. This time, protection a lot better. Had time to survey the field and still couldn't find an open receiver. So on fourth down, on is Brad Robbins to punt for the Bengals. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Stafford. And that one is incomplete. And it also concludes quarter number one. Three-nothing after one on EA Sports. The Rams with the football here to begin the second quarter. The offense on third down tonight, just one for three thus far. This will be third and six. Here's Stafford. And he is caught. And he's going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Up the middle, it's Williams. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. That's just flat out a terrific play because it's rare that you see a hitch route batted down. That means someone read that one really well and was right on the spot when the ball got to the receiver. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Now Stafford. And that is in. 
incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. So on fourth down, on is Ethan Evans to punt for the Rams. Back deep for Cincinnati, the rookie Charlie Jones. This is taken at the 15. Jones breaking from the contact. A very good kick there, but 15 yards on the return. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. Cincinnati coming back onto the field here for their second drive. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that he can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. Burrow, short throw to Smith. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. On third down, Burrow. And it's complete right back in the hands of Smith. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. He gets this one to move. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. 12 yards that time, and it's Cincinnati first down. 3-4 defense, and that old line really dominated the D-line on that play. And think of it this way. With a 3-4, you have a natural bubble over each guard because those guys don't have defenders over them. Oftentimes, if you want to run up the middle, they can get upfield and get on the linebackers. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. Aaron Donald. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. For an offense that has not found the end zone yet, that's a big play. There's the spark right there. The big play that they needed. Now they've got to go ahead and finish this drive and put this ball in the end zone. From the red zone now, here's Burrow first down. This pass complete to Higgins. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it's second down. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. On second down, Burrow incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. And Burrow going to throw again. And he won't quite make it. He needed six. He got about five. Fourth down. 
That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own. But as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you. And if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. They'll try and throw forward with Burrow. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Bengals try it, but it doesn't work out. And this 11-play drive is going to lead to nothing on the scoreboard. A chance to get some momentum here in the second quarter, getting their first trip into the red zone, but unable to get it across. And if I'm the head coach, sure, you feel some disappointment, maybe a little bit of deflation there because you didn't get it in, but I'm going straight to rah-rah mode. All right, guys, we didn't get it this time. It's only the second quarter. We'll be back. Let's get it later on. I want to keep this team up. I don't want them to feel like they've let everyone down. Positive. Got to be positive in this situation. It's too early to think that you don't have a chance to win this game. Backed up now from their own four as they come up second down. Now we give up the middle to Williams. And that won't buy him much room. Just a one-yard gain to the five. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. Again, it's Williams. And he gets it up to the 10-yard line here. It's a gain of five, but it'll lead to a fourth down. Well, they got off the field on third down. An excellent job, an excellent defensive series. We always talk about adjustments, and usually only at halftime. But the best teams adjust series to series. And on that series, they adjusted so well that they got the job done in fine style. The punt team on now is from their end zone. They get it away. It's a 40-yard punt, four yards on the return. And the Bengals will take over in terrific field position. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. And on the last drive... They were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now, your field goal kicker, you've got to make sure you nurse him through and say, OK, don't worry about it. When we need you, you've got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit if they're in the same spot again. Yeah, we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. Here's a second and eight. Burrow looking to pass. Boyd's the target, and he has it over the middle. When he sees zone defense and you know you got a drag route on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. The offense on third down tonight. They've converted three out of five thus far. This time it's third and three. Mix it up the middle. And he's going to be a yard short. A two-yard pickup leads to fourth and one. It'll be a gain of two, and speaking of twos, it'll take us to the two-minute warning. They'll try and run with Mixon. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. A defensive breakdown allows a pickup of 16 on fourth down. Okay, you and I are sitting up here getting ready to analyze whether they should go for it or not. Did you see the quarterback just point to the sideline and say, uh-uh, everybody back. I've got this call. Well, you knew this side of the field, they're in plus territory, fourth and one. He wasn't coming off the field. No, he wasn't coming off the field. He wouldn't let the offense go with him at all. He said, we're staying out here, and we're picking this one up. That's some leadership right there. Well, they obviously read man covers their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Bro? Yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route, probably thought he was going to take it upfield, and then he curls back inside for the completion. First down, here's Burrow. And he's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. 
Irv Smith Jr. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Bengals will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. You got to figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. Extra point by McPherson up and good. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. On the return, Williams. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Now the Rams going to take over late in this first half with his slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half. We'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive. First and ten, Stafford. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Tyler Higby. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. The Rams ready to go on offense. And with great starting field position and a couple of timeouts at their disposal, they'll certainly have the green light here. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and ten. Now it's Stafford. Going to be taken in here by Nakula. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Just need a yard here, second and one. To throw is Stafford. Pass complete there to Nakula. Back-to-back receptions for him, and it's another first down. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness is a premium for all of that now. Here's Stafford. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. That'll give him eight that time. And yeah, that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet inbounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Marr able to put this one through, and they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the 1-2 to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. Oh, 
So a very tight first half. We had to break in a one-point game. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, the Bengals set to receive. They have the lead and the football to begin quarter number three. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. This offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game, and down the stretch, being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it, and try and win this ball game. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. From the gun to give to Mixon. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Ram territory. 55 yards on the ground for him so far. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Now Burrow to throw on second down. Working the middle here. That's complete to sample the tight end. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. They will throw on first down with Burrow. And that's going to be caught. T. Higgins He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. A good pick up there, a 22. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. Open man is Higgins, and he's got it. Touchdown, Cincinnati. From 21 yards away. And the Bengals take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. McPherson now for the extra point. And it's up. It's good. Our score, 14-6. to six. To the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Now the attention turns back to the Rams offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. Throwing quickly out wide at will. 
And he's taken down. It's a gain of three from the 17 to the 20. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Second and seven from the 20. Throwing a Stafford. Looking middle and that's complete. And he'll go down at the 26 following a gain of six. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Stafford looking to throw on third and one. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Stafford looks to throw again to Jefferson on the slant. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time and another first down. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Second down and a yard. Off of play action, here's Stafford. It's caught on the right side, Williams. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Four yards the pick up, first down. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Now a first down throw, Stafford. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and that'll bring up second down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. On second down, here's Stafford. Short throw, it's Higby. And Higby going to have a Rams first down as he'll take this down to the 26. Stafford to Higby there, Rams first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the short catch and flip the down marker back to one. Stafford on first down. Over the middle, complete to the tight end, Higby. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. Throwing again at Stafford. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Stafford now to throw. Is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Puka Nakua from six yards away. And the Rams have come back to make it a two-point game. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got in range. 
but couldn't quite finish it off. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical or it, no? It, it, it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times, the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kicks away here. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and 10. And they go play action now. Burrow. Over the middle, he finds Higgins. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 and a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, Nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Here's a fake on the jet sweep and a run up the middle with Mixon. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. This is second and eight. Now it's Burrow. Over the middle, that's caught by Chase. And he'll take this from 147 yard line to the other, a gain of six. Third and two. Out of the shotgun, they run with Mixon. And powering through at the 35. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Once again, they run with Mixon. Stiff-armed him. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Now a second and two. Burrow looking to pass. Throwing for Smith on the out route, and it's caught. Seven yards there and a first down. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Cincinnati. All square, 14 apiece to score as we get ready for the fourth quarter. From the red zone now, here's Burrow first down. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around a 30. It looks like a loss of right around 11 there on first down to set him back on second. Even the most elusive quarterbacks have those tough days where they can't avoid sacks, and this is one of them. Third time he's gone down. He might develop some happy feet now, want to escape the pocket and try and gain more yardage with his legs. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Can we just take that run and turn it into a kind of a clip and save? Because that tells you everything you need to know about this drive. They've been moving the ball awfully well. 
Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. And that is incomplete. And this defense definitely in his head there on third down, and he's pretty fortunate. They didn't call for grounding on this one. That was a good 10 feet over everyone's head. So a pressure spot here for Evan McPherson. This to break our fourth quarter tie. McPherson's kick is good. And they take a 17-14 lead. So he ran on the sideline for his first chance in the ball game, and it didn't come until the fourth quarter, but he connects there. A big one to give him the lead. Boy, you talk about coming in cold. I don't care how many times you kick it into a net. You're not really ready when you go out there and all that beef is coming at you trying to block the kick. Big spot, and he delivers. So after the made field goal, here's McPherson to send this one away. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They'll hand this to Williams to start things out. They'll get this to the 24, and it's second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. From the 24 now, here's second down and seven. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. He'll get it here on the jet sweep. And that is well read there defensively. He was looking to use his speed to get the edge, but they said no way. As a wide out, when you take that handoff and you're coming around the edge, you're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. But if not... Well, things can go south in a hurry, and that's exactly what we saw in that play with a loss. Throwing on third down, Stafford. That's down the field for Jefferson. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. That was for the lead right there. They know they're in a position where fortune favors the brave. So they took their shot, but couldn't connect. Here comes the Rams punter now, as he's on to kick it away. A fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be first and ten as they take over. On one, ready? Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and ten. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. That was a classic example of trying to run with the ball without securing the catch. He was thinking about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. Second and ten. Here's a give to Mixon. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. And this is why the head coach gets paid the big bucks. Look at where they are in this situation, partner. Do you throw the ball here in a long-distance situation? Do you run it again and trust your defense and make sure you take care of the ball and punt it away? What kind of options do you have here, and what do you trust more on your team? Yeah, they may have just pushed him back into that throwing situation. We'll see. The flag comes in. It's incomplete. And I'm not sure he was still behind the line when he let that one go. Let's go, 
The Bengals bring out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. This is taken at the 23. It's a 45-yard punt, but a decent return there of nine yards. And the Rams will go on offense here for the first and 10. L.A. set to take over again on offense. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. They begin the drive with Williams. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. So from the 37, here's a second down at six. They run it again with Williams. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. 45 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. They held him in check in the first half, but that's his longest carry of the game right there. So would this be the definition of fresh legs since he didn't get much done in the first half? Now he has a great opportunity. He's taking full advantage of it. Meanwhile, Stafford's throw pulled in by Atwell here. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Pass complete there to Nakua. So he stopped for no gain, and that will bring up second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Now a play fake it at Stafford. He'll drop this down to Williams, and he'll get it down on the plate of the 37. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They tackle them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Back to throw, Stafford. And that will be incomplete. They weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Just because you've got the lead in the fourth, it doesn't mean you have to throw it safe. I like the aggressive play call there to push it downfield. That time, it didn't work out. The kick by Maher is good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. Well, you talk about clutch. That one was right down Broadway, and this game's all even here in the fourth. Yeah, he didn't leave any doubt, did he? Good snap, good hold, dead center. Almost like a big-time golfer in a major, firing at a pin from the fairway, <laughs> trying to win the tournament going down the stretch. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Ready to go on offense. Out come the Bengals. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. I'm one, right? Burrow and the Bengals with a first and 10 at their own 21. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He gets this one to Boyd. 
call it a gain of six on the play at its second down. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. Here now, second and four. Here's Burrow. Throw right side, pulled in by Higgins. And they work this well upfield across the 35. A gain there of 21 yards. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. Mixon with a first down carry. Ooh, the juke. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. 93 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's going on. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. Back to Mixon on first down. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh-uh, -oh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. They'll come up now on second down. Play action, it's Burrow. And that is gonna be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. A big play needed, no doubt. Third and long. Oh, no, he lost the football. And now the Rams have got it. Go the other way. And his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. They'll come up first and ten here. Now it's Stafford. This one brought in by Jefferson. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. From the gun, it's a run for Williams. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. You don't see that a ton, do you? With a cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball's moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. Williams going to get it again on second down. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Big play looming here. This is third and seven with a crowd on their feet. On third down, here's Williams. And he will be marked down short of the first as they get to him at the 29. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to take the lead here in the final minute. The kick by Marr is good. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. All right, so time to reset here. It's a huge kick there. Gives them the lead, but they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature. You're exactly right about that because there still is time for the other guys to run a few plays and get into field goal position. So this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop 
if they're going to get out of here with a victory. After the made field goal, Marr back out there to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. So Burrow and the Bengals down 20 to 17, 45 seconds remaining. Now they need at minimum three points out of this as they come up first and 10. Throwing, Burrow. Pass complete to Higgins. And they get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Hey, you got your first down. Get up to the line of scrimmage and spike it. Well, this offense still has the one timeout here, remember. First and 10. And that's going to be caught. T. Higgins. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. This to potentially send us to overtime. And his kick is good. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. So a money kick there in the final seconds. And now, barring any hijinks on the kickoff here, partner, I think you and I, we're going to settle in for a little overtime. And I wouldn't have it any other way. This has been a dogfight all through regulation. No reason to think it won't continue in the extra period. So overtime on the horizon, barring a wild finish here as the kick's away. Final whistle blows, and we need some extra time here to decide who will be the victor. 60 minutes, just not enough some days to decide who's going to win the game. So it'll be the Bengals with the football here to start the overtime session as the kick is away. And we will not see a return to start overtime. It'll come out to the 25-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. I cannot imagine how these players and coaches feel, Charles, because my palms <laughs> sweating up here in the booth now as we go to the third drive of overtime. And as we know from here on out, any points win this football game. I'll throw you a towel as well, partner. I've got one for myself, but let's face it. Our nerves, our pressure, nothing compared to what's going on on that field. Both of the field goal kickers active here early. Can one of them become the hero and end this thing? And they need five yards on third down here to keep this opening drive of OT alive. They 
take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up, converged on his man, and broke the play up. The Bengals bring out their punter now. On for a very important punt here in overtime. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. So possession goes over here on the punt. And they will take over first and ten. Stafford and the Rams come up first and ten at their own 27. Although a jet sweep to start the drive. And he powers his way up past the 30. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Second down and six now. Now Stafford with his first throw of OT. Out route to Jefferson, and he's got it. Seven catches for him now in this last one. A first down. Now a handoff. Here's Williams. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. 65 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. We often give credit to the O-line there. Two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and they can also get downfield and catch the football. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Sometimes being a linebacker in the middle of the field is kind of like being a doctor on the field. you got to make the right diagnosis. Here he correctly sets his run and shoots through to make the play in the backfield. Here's Stafford. On the throw led him too much that time. It's incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice or maybe even routes versus air because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. The busy night continues for Williams. And he can only manage to get this to the 45-yard line. Well short of the first. They'll get six there on the run, but it brings up fourth down. Well, the guys who are paid to make the tackles deserve some kudos there, but I think they deserve even bigger ones because in that situation, they had to be thinking pass. Loosened up defense, going to pass coverage. Instead, maybe they surprised him a little bit running the ball, yet they rallied to it and stopped him well short of a first down. The Bengals getting set to go. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Burrow going to lead up the Bengals here first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Short throw to Smith. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. This being their second opportunity in overtime for an overall drive. See if they can settle into a rhythm. And that's what you're looking for. Get a few first downs, move the ball downfield, have some confidence, get yourself in a spot where you can at least kick a field goal to win it. But I tell you this, if I'm the play caller, I'm looking at that part of my sheet that says playmakers. Get the ball in their hands, critical situation, now's their time. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. Give him 17 and a Cincinnati first down. That last pass puts him over 300 yards now in the game. More importantly, though, big first down here in OT. And the team around him has a lot of confidence now after picking up that first down. Everyone seems a little more energized. But did I hear you before the game call in and say, 
this is my quarterback for your fantasy <laughs> league because he just gave you a good stat, didn't he? He did, and I appreciate it. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. They suspected that it was a power play up the middle coming at them, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. They're passing here. Joe Burrow, short throw to Smith. Fighting through, and he's got space. He's still on his feet. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown and the game winner in OT. So it's the Bengals who come away with a win. And the man leading the way was their quarterback, CD. That's Joe Burrow. Yeah, he really threw the ball well, didn't he? Well over 200 yards passing. Hit on three touchdown passes. And he's delivering the ball in rhythm all game long. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. It's a win for the Bengals as we say so long from Cincinnati.